Assalamu alaikum, this is Barak Hussein, the Muslim counselor. Mental health, well-being, all of these things, these are things that we don't talk about within the Muslim community, yet these are things that are happening in terms of the mental illnesses, the challenges that we all face, the social problems, the psychological challenges, yet again, we don't talk about these things. Why is that? There's so many taboos and misconceptions and misunderstandings around this topic. Yet when we talk about our physical health, this is something that is normal. You break a leg, you get, catch the flu, you go to the doctor, get a prescription, get a diagnosis, get the treatment, medication, it's all good. And even with that, people will come and help you. They, they're not afraid of your broken leg. But as soon as we start talking about mental health, depression, suicide, personality disorders, or the effects of abuse within our community, for example, people don't respond the same way as though it's a broken leg. Again, it's about the fears, about not understanding what it's all about. We want to normalize that. And this is what this is all about. So, somebody who's dealing with depression, how do we help them? How do we recognize the signs? Well, their hygiene could be off, they could have low energy, they're not as interactive as they used to be within their school, within their interactions with their family and friends, their activities. They could be saying certain things that could be different from before, such as, you know, I'm not feeling that great, or I don't feel like doing that, or no, you guys go out, I'm not coming. They could be spending their time in bed sleeping all of the time, not, again, engaging with things that they used to be able to normally. So what do we do? Well, we show that compassion. We don't show that we're afraid. We don't show things such as, you know, we don't talk about these things or it's shameful to discuss them. And I find that a lot of people within our community do that because again, they're not aware. They're not understanding that this is a normal part of life that we all experience this at some point or another. The statistics show that one in five or one in six people at some point in their lives will either experience it themselves or know somebody who's experiencing some kind of mental health struggle or issue. So again, why do we fear that? We go to the gym, we take care of our food, we take care of our sleep. Putting these things in balance and incorporating spirituality, incorporating good friendships and getting rid of negative things that take away your energy, these are basic things. Yet again, within our communities, we're afraid when we hear of somebody who's had a break in their mind or in their spirit. We don't marry within the same families of these people who are struggling with these because we are afraid that it is contagious and we may catch it. Again, these are all misconceptions. Rather than creating the culture of fear and pushing away the people who are struggling like this, it's vital to encompass and talk about them and show love and compassion just as it is shown in our faith. And when we talk about that, faith, religion, Islam, this has been in our faith for 1400 years. It is prescribed in the Quran. It is exemplified through the Prophet and Ahlul Bayt with simple things such as what the Prophet says, throw your positive energy out there, you will get it. Tafa'alu bil khair tajiduna. This is Arabic, of course. But just showing that positive kind of energy out there, you create waves. And there's so much psychology involved in that. The Quran itself says, with the remembrance of God, the spirits find peace, serenity. And so this is something that we can incorporate within our everyday lives, not just by praying, reading dua, and doing the duties as a Muslim, but actually incorporating it spiritually to encompass the balance of our mental health, which basically means the balance of the mind, the body, the spirit, and our interactions with everybody else around us. So mental health, mental illness, you know, not that scary, not that fearful. Once you talk about it, create a culture of love and compassion and normalizing it within our communities. The youth are affected by it, children are affected by it, couples, families, the elders, everybody's affected in some way or another. It's just all about that balance. Assalamu alaikum.